This is Owen McKendry for ESPR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by the victorious Raven Chapman. Raven, sum that up for me. Yeah, um, good good fight, good performance, uh, dominant performance, which is what I knew would happen. Tough opponent, tough to break down. Um, she made me work for it. I thought I might have got her out there in that last round, but wasn't to be. But I'll take a lot home uh, for, for that one. A lot of learning as well. When also just having that belief in my engine like I know I've got a good engine as the fittest I've felt but through the fight I was like I feel really tired why, why am I so tired and my team just said well you're working you're like you've got a high work rate so um, yeah I felt like I wasn't doing as much as I could so yeah go go back to the gym and sort of work on that and and just believe in in my uh, my fitness really now you've still got that green and gold belt around your waist um, obviously you're fighting a former world champion there is it going to be a slow step up within each fight? Because we all know Amanda Serrano is the end goal. Is it going to be a gradual step up or after that do you and your team feel it's now it's time to go through the gears? Yeah, um, whatever my team's got sort of set up for me going forward, I trust the process, trust what they think for me. Obviously, to face Amanda Serrano, I'm going to need that experience under my belt and that's exactly what I hope to get moving forward, to be able to face her at the end of the year, beginning of next year, you never know. So I need to get those tough fights under my belt because to get that world title, it's going to be a tough fight. Like you say, I thought you had her out there. Um, obviously, it was a good knockdown. Did you think you could get her out? Yeah, the, there was times where I really thought I did. I could see I was hurting her and she didn't like it. There wasn't a lot coming back my way to sort of bother me, really. A few little spurts here and there, but um, it's hard to get someone out there when they're not really committing to their shots as much and not trying to go through the gears with you as well. So she made that tough for me. And yeah, like I say, tricky to get to. She was leaning back. I was having to double up, move my feet. And I think sometimes I just got a bit stuck in front. Should have created those angles around the side, which is what we'd been working on a bit in the gym. So again, something else to take back with me. In a sense, I suppose it's almost a compliment, but at times it seemed whenever you'd land clean, she'd try and tie you up, you know, hold in, get you up against the ropes. Yeah. How did you sort of adapt to that? Yeah, I definitely feel like that's what she was doing. Um, and she was good. She tied me up pretty well. I was trying to get out of those. Um, and I was, sometimes, as I thought, I was just about getting her out to bump her off and let my shots go. We kind of got broke. So, um, yeah, she, she did that well. She managed to smother my work quite well towards the end to sort of avoid me letting those shots go, which props to her. She didn't want to get taken out there. After such a, a dominant victory, is there a plan to get you out? sort of summertime or is it sort of go back to the drawing board see who's available because obviously you beat one world champ ex world champion there sorry and obviously that'll be looking for that caliber of fighter yeah. yeah definitely i think hopefully be out again in a few months time um i like to be busy um so yeah whenever they think is a good time whenever they get an opponent whenever there's a good show on that they want me on i'll be there and i'll be ready raven thank you so much for joining us and congratulations